when I told you a story about how Coyote Pete almost died by genuine Coyote. I may have misrepresented a couple details at the time, though after all, I was pretty flustered writing the song and all. So I'm informing you of those details now. When Coyote Pete was down looking for work in Louisiana, he met a fellow named Greg. And Greg, well, let's just say his profession was selling something that shined in the moon, if you catch my meaning. And after a long string of events, those of which I shall not confirm here, Coyote Pete was genuinely drunk. Catch that pun there? It's pretty good if I do say so myself. Anyway, Coyote Pete was so intoxicated that, in today's society, he would have gotten a DUI. I see what you're about to say. But Mr. Government, Mister, there weren't any cars back in Coyote Pete's day. So how would even a DUI exist? And my answer to that, you young feller, is that Coyote Pete moved so fast he didn't need no car. I ain't even being hyperbolic. He really moves that fast. So Coyote Pete drunkenly decides to be the most genuine coyote in Louisiana and starts shooting every coyote he finds. One bullet each. So, he, so he's finally down to one bullet and he gets hired by some folks who've heard of his exploits to kill a coyote in that forest I talked about in the previous song. So he goes into the forest and he meets that coyote, stares him dead in the eyes. And that coyote glares back, these big yellow devil eyes. And they just stare at each other, maybe a couple minutes, maybe a couple hours, maybe a couple days. No one really knows. And after a while, Coyote Pete aims his pistol, gets ready to shoot, he shoots, and well, let's just say at that point he was so drunk that he hit a tree behind him, like really, really behind him. I'm talking like French behind him, like the country of France. So he's, he has no bullets, Coyote sees that it's, that it's its turn to attack, and it charges, and they just wrestle there on the ground, just tussling and fighting. And you see, after a real, real long time, the coyote is on top of him, trying to claw his eyes out. And it gets a big, big scar around his neck. And you see, Coyote Pete sees that coyote and refuses to die. He realizes that if he kills that coyote, he'll be the most genuine coyote in Louisiana. He's real obsessed with coyotes if you haven't figured that out by now. So he takes his big bare hands, he pushes up on the coyote and starts strangling it. And those big yellow eyes, let's just say they don't open again. Coyote Pete realizes that all of this could have been avoided if he wasn't so drunk. Like, you know, the whole missing aspect of this spot. So he takes his last bottle, he puts it next to the coyote's corpse, and he sets them both on fire. And that is the story, not only, of Coyote Pete's embracing and abandoning of alcoholism, but also of how he became the most genuine coyote in all of Louisiana. Man, Coyote Pete is one swell of a guy.